peanut butter and jelly muffins. Now, we did actually make this recipe. We filmed it yesterday, and when we went to eat the muffins, we were disappointed because the jelly kind of cooked right in. And I used just a plain old grape jelly, and I think that's where the mistake was. So we really liked the muffin itself. We liked the peanut butter muffin, so we decided to try the recipe again. This time, I'm gonna use a strawberry preserve. You can even use a jam, I believe. So we're gonna try it this way, and hopefully it works out a little bit better. So you wanna line your muffin tin with your cups and spray them with a little bit of Pam. Now, when I made the recipe last time, I did get 14 of the muffins, but I'm gonna start off with 12 and see what happens, but I did get 14 last time. And this recipe, the base recipe comes from the Smucker's website, but I did change it around just a little bit. The ingredients that you're going to need is a third of a cup of oil, two eggs, one cup of buttermilk. Now the original recipe called for regular milk, but I did change it to buttermilk um, and it came out good. So if you don't have buttermilk, you certainly could use regular milk, but it's also really, really easy to make buttermilk. You would just put a tablespoon of either lemon juice or vinegar in the bottom of your cup and then fill it up with milk until you reach the one cup mark. And then if you let it sit for a little while, you basically have buttermilk. Um, you need two cups of flour. Um, right here I have a half a teaspoon of baking soda, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. I have a tablespoon of vanilla, two-thirds of a cup of sugar. You can use any peanut butter you'd like, but you really don't want to go for the natural peanut butters where you have the oil that separates from the peanut butter on the bottom and you have to mix it. Um, that one, those tends to not work out quite as well in these types of recipes. Usually it ends up being kind of oily. So I would recommend one that's already mixed together like Skippy or any of those type. Um, this time I'm going for the Smucker's Strawberry Preserves. Last time I did try the jelly and it did not work. And then finally, I do have some sprinkling sugar to put across the top, although you don't necessarily have to do that step. The first step is to mix together the eggs. I already have the two eggs in here. I'm going to add the vanilla, the sugar, the buttermilk, the oil, and the peanut butter. I'm gonna mix all of that together. The ingredients are mixed together, and now I've already combined the flour with the baking powder, baking soda, and salt. I'm gonna just add a little bit at a time in here and kind of just mix it till it's incorporated in. You don't wanna over mix it. It's all mixed together and now you're gonna just start scooping it into the bottom of each of the muffin cups. Maybe about a spoonful. You wanna make sure you completely cover the bottom because you don't want the jelly to be able to seep out of the bottom. So maybe about a third of the way up would be good. I'm placing about a tablespoon or so of the jam right in the center, and I'm gonna do six this way, and we're gonna try six with the fluff and see what happens. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but we're gonna try it. What if we put fluff in the middle of it? Peanut butter fluff, hey, we're gonna make another one. We're gonna try jam in a couple and fluff in a couple, and uh, See how it comes out. Good idea. Thanks. <laughs> Hopefully it works. It doesn't spill out everywhere. That could be a mess. That stuff's sticky. Now we're just going to put the remaining batter over the top. Make sure you completely cover the jam or the fluff or whatever it is that you are using. So once again, I did get 14 of these muffins, not just the 12. And the last step is to take a little bit of the sugar and sprinkle it on the top if you choose to do that. I kind of like the look of it though and it gives a little bit of a crunch on the top. The muffins are gonna go into the oven for 18 to 20 minutes until they begin to brown. 
These just came out of the oven and as you can see, the fluff is kind of exploding here. So I don't know how well those are gonna come out. But the jam, the jelly side looks pretty good right now. So I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit and then we're gonna cut into them and see what happens. I wanted to cut open one of the muffins and show you that there is definitely plenty of jam and jelly in the center of this. Um, it did actually stay contained. I think it kind of moved around a bit when I tried to cut it in half to show you. So it, it really was not on the paper at all. The paper was completely dry and it wasn't until I cut into it that it kind of moved the, the uh, jam around a bit. But the jam definitely worked. The fluff did not. The fluff seemed to rise to the top somehow in all of them and then it just kind of got hard from cooking. So it's really not in the center of any of the muffins. I did open up a few and it kind of just moved to the top. Um, so I don't think the fluff is that great of an idea, but we're gonna let Sean taste both of them and get his opinion as well. All right, take two, Sean attempted to eat the fluff one, which was his idea here, uh, but it was such a mess and crumbling and he had it suck all over his face that he wanted to redo it. So yeah. here we go again. Now Fiona's gonna ruin the video. All right, so what do you think? I think the fluff does not work. I like the muffin. It tastes good, but I think the fluff just, just did not work. The fluff didn't work, and actually I really haven't said my opinion yet. I did the first time we filmed this and I didn't say anything since, but um, I really like the muffin. That's why I made this again using the jam in the center because the muffin is really nice. It's light, it's fluffy. Usually when you use peanut butter, it makes it really dense, but these are not dense. So um, they're really great muffins. The fluff does not work. No. It kind of becomes hard when it moves to the top. I thought it'd be nice and gooey and like marshmallow, but it's not. Um, so forget the fluff. Now on to the preserve. What do you think of that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what were you expecting? <laughs> I don't know, it's really strong. It is, but it's strawberry and you don't like strawberry, oh, right? Thanks for that surprise. <laughs> I think it worked better than our first patch where the jelly just didn't work at all. Yeah. The jam definitely worked better. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of flavors. I just happen to pick strawberry. I like strawberry, but you know, I mean, there's there's whatever type of jam that you like, you can easily put in here. Yeah, I would have went with grape. Well, I didn't see grape. <laughs> I had blueberry, but we know how you feel about blueberry. So yeah, the jam definitely works. There's a lot of it in the center, so you can definitely taste it. It's really like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, whereas when you use the actual plain jelly, uh, not so much. It kind of just all cooked in. So you definitely have to go with the preserves or the jam. Um, mm. Forget about the fluff, but it's it's a great muffin. Anything else? I think we should try to like drill a hole in the middle and try to fill it or fill one of them. With what? Fluff? Um, I don't know. Well, there's a lot of filling in those. We'll have to experiment. <laughs> yeah. But the muffin's a keeper. The muffin is good, and it's definitely best the first day. The ones that we made yesterday, I did try one this morning, and um, it kind of got a little bit more dense. So it wasn't, it was still good, but it was best the first day you make it. Mm -hmm. Taste test time. All right, so I gave both the muffins to Sean. The fluff was his idea, so I mean, you wanna try with that one first or what? It didn't work so well. It's also breaking apart. Yeah. When I tried to cut that one in half multiple times, it crumbled. This is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you have it. You keep making it worse. <laughs> you have like, it's still on your face. Oh, it just fell. No, reshoot it. What? Reshoot it. 